Hello boys and girls, Mr. Arneson here to introduce your next project. Our next project is a painting project and we'll be using watercolor paints to paint this project. Now if you're at home and you do not have watercolor paints, I will have some available to you or for you I should say to borrow or lend to you um, here at school along with some watercolor paper and some extra cardstock paper, um, some thick paper for this project. If you can't get in, you may use um, just markers and pens and whatever to do this project. Anyways, Georgia O'Keeffe was a Wisconsin-born artist. Um, she was known as an abstract artist, and one of her claims to fame was the painting of flowers. Very kind of magnified pictures of flowers. And that's exactly what we're going to do here today. So one of the things you're going to need is access to the internet um, or access to artificial flowers or access to real flowers. I think it's a little too early for real ones, but um, you should be able to look up a picture on the internet for a flower. And the picture you want to get isn't a side view of the flower. It's a picture from the top. So you're looking down at the flower. So you're looking like you're looking down from the top down into the flower. That's the kind of picture you want to find. Um, and we'll go through that and talk about how we're going to create these. First thing, of course, we're going to draw them out in pencil, trace them out in Sharpie, and then paint them with watercolor paints. So here we go. Boys and girls, now that I've drawn out my flower nice and big, remember it has to be big, it should fill up almost the entire piece of paper. Um, now I'm going to trace it out with Sharpie and get it prepared to start painting. Alright boys and girls, once you have your flower traced with Sharpie, of course, then you want to go back and you want to erase your pencil marks that you had. Hopefully you have been following what we've been talking about all year, where you make your pencil marks nice and light so that um, you can erase them cleanly without leaving any marks. Okay, the paint is going to be a painting, so we need painting supplies, so I'm just going to move this out of the way for a moment. Watercolor paints require water. I'm going to use this as my palette, so if you just have a piece of scrap paper or a white plate, or if you are, or a family member have an actual palette, you could use, certainly use that if you get their permission. 
Um, but anything that's white will work. So a dish, a plate, um, in the worst case scenario, even like a clear um, Tupperware item. And we're going to start the paint. So watercolor paint obviously needs water. So I'm going to get my watercolor paints ready and then we'll start the painting process, which I'll put through a, um, a uh, time lapse. Okay, before I go to the time lapse of the painting, though, um, I did add some leaves to my flower to fill up some of that space. Um, and I guess let me just show you. I'm going to do my leaves and I want to show you this pretty quick if I can. Okay, so I'm going to start by mixing some light green. Okay, with watercolor paints, the more water you add, the lighter the color will become. Okay, for the most part, that's. I mean, so if you want a light green, you take green, you add quite a bit of water to it to create what's called a wash. And that will give you a light green color or a light blue if you're doing a sky. Okay, so I'm going to fill in my leaf on this side. Okay, and of course your grade would be dependent upon the quality of your drawing, the quality of your painting. So are you staying in line? Are you doing the best work you possibly can? Um, and I think we all know what fifth graders can are capable of and third and fourth so I have expectations as far as how the quality of your work uh, that comes in okay so I might have a light green there and then if I want to add some dark green highlights to that then what I do is I use less water and more paint and that way I can put in some darker greens in here too I'm going to make sure I get enough off my brush so I could put in a darker green kind of almost like a shadow in there um, and blend that while it's wet. I can actually blend that into the existing color Just like that Okay, so I know that's a very quick thing to learn um, But just kind of follow along as I do the painting 